We're all grown. We can admit it. We did a little drinking in high school. One of my fondest memories was working at Pizza Hut and playing beer pong in the back after closing time with my coworkers. But I had that shit on lock though. I wasn't acting like this chick. Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's your man here, Jackson's Gambit, with another video for you today. Happy Tuesday. Hope everybody's having a decent to good day. If not, then, well, you're doing better than this chick. We got an 18-year-old by the name of Anna who was found passed out in the back seat of her car at a convenience store. And everybody around her tried to help this woman out. But instead of being grateful, decided to act like a complete asshole. Have you been taking anything tonight? Have you been drinking? Alcohol? No. I need my eyes closed. Why do you need your eyes closed? Because I can't hear them anything else. You can't what? Hear them anything else. You can't hear them? Yeah. You can't hear your eyes. I can't hear my ID. You can't hear, you don't need to hear your ID. I don't need to hear my ID. I just need to know that it's there. Okay. Look, okay, okay, okay. I know this girl is drunk, but you need to hear your ID? I heard that right, right? Sometimes when I'm at a bar and I'm sitting next to a drunk person, I just like to have random conversations with them just to see where the conversation goes. And trust me, they go to some wild places. Are you diabetic or are I'm you- I'm nothing taking tonight, but I need to be quiet to take my meds. You're taking your meds? Meds. You need to take your meds. What kind of meds do you need to take? Well, how about you work on getting your ID out for me? Then find me. Huh? Then find me. What? I I can't I understand you. Find me. Then shut and the door, please. Can you shut me out? I'm shut not gonna shut your door. Can you just find your ID for me? Is it Can in your you purse? Shut my door for me? No, I'm not shutting your door. Then I won't find it for you. Even though she's drunk, it's probably like a coping mechanism or makes her feel safe, which is probably why she wants to have the door closed. I know how that feels because when I lived at home or if I lived with somebody else, I always had to have my door closed when I slept because it made me feel safe. But you with the cops, and this is a traffic stop. So that motherfucker's staying open. Why do I need to shut your door? So I can find my ID. You don't need your door shut to find your ID. Yes, I fucking do, you bitch. Hey, okay, look it. He's look, being an no, idiot. No, 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 hey, 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 I was an MP, right. and, and then I became door, combat please. medic. No, we don't do no that. Reason. We don't do that. There's no reason to shut your door, honey. Just get your ID. Why? Can we shut my You're door, gonna please, get, then? You're going to get arrested. You're going to get arrested. Then can do you we have someone shut my door, please, please, do you wanna, then? Do you want to go home? Can you please shut my door, then? No, we're, I'm not shutting your, your door. Yes, I am 100% sure that I want you to shut my door, please. Well, we can't do that. I feel like kids these days see this kind of crap on social media or movies of people cursing at cops and nothing happens to them and they think to themselves, wow, I can curse at cops and nothing happens to me? I'm going to try that. But she didn't say the word bitch in a convincing way. It makes me feel like that's the first time she's used that word. Bitch. That's how you say it, right? But keep on talking, girl. Cause you sound like a major idiot. Raising her voice to grown people. This bitch acting like she at home. Emma! Okay, we don't need to be screaming like that. Okay? I'm trying to help you. Fuck you! I don't fucking like you! Okay, that's fine. Can you go find my sister? I don't know where your sister is. Go no, ask sister for is. my sister! Yeah, she fucking is! Go look for her, you dumbass! Go look for her! She's not here. Go look for her! 
All right. Go look for her! Get out of the go car. Go look for her! Hannah, get out of the car. No! Go look for her! Yo, this chick is using that white privilege to the fullest extent. Did you just punch that cop in the nuts? Find your sister, but you gotta slide back on the seat. Yes, we will. You gotta slide back on the seat. I am coming, go! Stop resisting. You're just making us worse. Please let me go. We can't let you go at this point. All that dry ass whimpering and whining. I'm not even convinced you want to escape. Oh, please let me go. Oh, is it working? I guarantee you, if them cops change their mind, they let her go, she changed her attitude real quick. All right, you can leave. <clears throat> well, took you long enough. Gentlemen, peace. Fuck off me, nigga. That's my bus stop. I know where I'm at. I'm going home. <laughs> Hey, stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Gonna help yourself. I say just leave her ass back there. She'll tie herself out eventually. They use the seatbelt and all other types of wonky shit just to keep her ass still. What she needs is a straight jacket and an exorcism. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compelling me? Is that what's happening? Or good old fashioned. Go, go, go. Yeah. Hey. No, what's hey, hey, That's gotta be hella embarrassing, being dragged off like Hannibal Lecter. All you're missing is some ankle chains and a, and a face mask. And who are her parents? Cause they failed miserably. This girl doesn't look like she ain't never been disciplined a day in her life. She needs to be put through one of them scare straight programs. But the weirdest part of this whole video was the two guys that found her passed out in her back seat. And those two guys were talking to the cops, talking about, oh, we'll just take her back to our place. She's young and dumb. Yeah, we're willing to, she was, she was sparked, but she was, she was asleep. We are willing to take her to our house. No, I'm young and dumb going with y'all two. I feel like this is just the beginning for this chick. Don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. Michael, please. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's content. Please enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next one. All right? Later days, y'all. Peace.